Hello there everybody, this is AR Videos, and today I'll be showing you some programs that you can use to make your own games. I'll start from the simplest, going to the more complex. If you want to just start out and make your the most basic games and the most easiest way to make your own games, then you should probably go to Scratch. Just go to scratch.mit.edu, and that's right, MIT made this programming language. And it's basically a programming language where you just drop the blocks in to make your own program like that. It's very simple, although it's only limited to 2D and it's only limited to 360 by 480 pixels. It's the simplest way and I've been using it since I first started programming. And it still teaches you all the important concepts of programming. So it's it's very good for beginners. Then if you want to start up a little higher up but you're still a beginner, go to Game Maker. In Game Maker you can make 2D programs but they're a little more complex you can add in more custom stuff they they sort of look like flash games and also if you buy the full version you can make full 3d games but then again it's limited it's not as powerful as a full 3d game engine and plus um, both communities of scratch and um, game maker are very big and they're very friendly like most of them you know people aren't like trolls or something they're all good communities and you can get feedback. For YoYo -Yo Games, it's just yoyogames.com and Scratch is just the regular website. And so, you know, the community can help help you with a lot of stuff. Whereas the other game making programs I'm going to show you don't have as big as an active community. And the next step up would be Unity. I think maybe some of you guys may have heard it, but Unity is a full 3D engine and it has the power of any other major 3D engine. And it's much easier to use than the other ones. The graphics are pretty good, although not exceptional. And the interface is pretty sleek. I'll show you right now. All right, then. Here's what Unity looks like. Basically, here's your hierarchy, which includes like all the objects organized for you. Here's like all your assets that you can add in. It's dr drag and drop, too. And then you can also, it also supports C, C Sharp and a version of JavaScript, as well as Python. Those are the three languages I think it supports. And also, you can instantly test out your game like that. Press play. You can play it. You just instantly play it like that. Alright, and then once you become a master of Unity, I think Unity is probably as big as you should get before getting a college education or a good high school education because I mean really the best way to learn all this stuff is to actually take classes you can only learn so much from the internet the next step up would be UDK and CryEngine which I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have heard of UDK is Unreal Engine 3 development kit and although the graphics is probably extremely good on this it's pretty hard I mean the terrain editor in U UDK is pretty simple it's very easy to get with but I mean Otherwise, everything else is just like an. It, it is actually a AAA 3D engine, so it's pretty hard to learn. And then there's CryEngine, which is looks even better, but it's probably just as hard to learn as the UDK. All right, then this is um this is CryEngine SDK, and it, it look this is what it looks like inside. And I'll just load up a level for you guys real quick. And here we go. This is what the uh, CryEngine 3 SDK, are the graphics capable of it? I mean, if you look at Crisis and Crisis 2, you can pretty much tell how good the engine is. All right, then this is the UDK, but I don't have a level loaded up right now. But as um as CryEngine 3's SDK's user interface, this is pretty good too. I mean, all the buttons are pretty self-explanatory, but, you know, learning how to use them with the engine takes a while. Just like CryEngine 3. Really, I think Unity is probably your best bet because it also has a pretty active community, you know, and um, it's pretty popular right now. There's a lot of tutorials on YouTube. In fact, there are a lot of tutorials for all of these programs, but I, I would go with Unity. And if you if you really have no experience whatsoever, Scratch or Game Maker is probably pretty good. And if you just want to, you know, make the best looking games for free, then Cry. Crytek and UDK. Oh, I forgot to mention, all of these are actually free. You can get paid versions of these engines that can make let you make much better games. But if you don't even know how to use them, I guess I think that's probably a waste. 
All right, then um, you can expect another programming tutorial or some tutorials of these programs I just showed you soon. This has been an AR video. Thanks for watching.